Prison Log Set 2 has been delayed yet again, so let me take you through all the info that you need to know. I want to start with the delay timeline, for those that may be interested. It was originally meant to release in March this year. It was then delayed to May, and that announcement was made in February. And then in April, they made a further announcement saying it's been delayed to September 3rd, which is what we know thus far, up to this point. But now they've said with just a month to go, it's been delayed indefinitely. No new release dates. And the reason being is they need more time to improve both the game's performance and its contents. Let me read out what they've said. Our continuous internal reviews and beta test groups have highlighted areas that we need to focus on more, mainly performance and content, which we need to address before launch to ensure that you, the players, get a good experience in the game. We need to raise the quality a bit more to meet these standards we like to achieve with the sequel. We're confident that the sequel to Prison Architect will be great and we're looking forward to showing you all the new ideas brought into it. The switch to 3D, multi floors, and the new behavior system that will bring a new dimension to the game and open new gameplay possibilities for the players. However, we want to make sure the game lives up to the franchise's legacy and is released in a state that satisfies both you, our players, and the Prison Architect 2 teams at Koku and Paradox Interactive. And if you're thinking, well, 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 wait a minute, Koku, isn't Double Eleven meant to be making it? Uh, yeah, they were. And there has been a switch in devs, which, and this was announced back in May if you haven't heard. And this was because they couldn't find a commercial agreement that worked between Paradox and Double Eleven. And bear in mind, Double Eleven have been part of Prison Architect since the console port of Prison Architect 1. But Koku haven't just been handed it over just now. They've actually been working on it since autumn in 2023. So the main point was like the full handover and Double Eleven are moving on to maybe another project. But that's you all up to date if you didn't know. So back to the delay. They cannot commit to a new release date as they need to reassess the scope of the work needed to be done before the game is release ready. Ready. and over the next few months they will focus on improving the game and building a more robust release timeline and because of this there will be limiting communication until they have a timeline that they feel comfortable with i'm not sure that's the right decision but that's their decision and as for pre-orders every platform will get refunded and the pre-order items will be added to the base game and those refunds will happen in the upcoming weeks if you want it a bit quicker you can contact whoever you pre-ordered on so the xbox store playstation store or steam contact support basically and you'll be able to uh, get that all sorted and the option for the pre-order for the game will be removed at the moment of time of recording this it's not been removed from steam i'm assuming that in the upcoming weeks that's what it will include they really should do that asap in my opinion because that prevents people pre-ordering that don't know about this the last thing that they said is they've confirmed that the game is not cancelled they are confident in the game but they want to raise the quality before release and that's it that's everything we know about the delay of prison architect 2 i want to know your thoughts about it in the comments below do you think paradox are learning from the launch of city skylines 2 with this or do you agree or disagree with the limited communication i don't if anything you should be communicating more if you've delayed a game especially if it's its third delay regardless of your thoughts and feelings let me know below and if you enjoyed this video find it helpful or informative want to see more content on this one make sure you are subscribed i also cover racing and simulation content so if that interests you you can stick around and i'll see you in the next one take care